like on the song I got coming out right now, it's called Grind to Your Wrist Froze. I say, told young, throw the pots away soon as I sign. Like, it's just real, like, but talking to Rock Nation and like, I just told him like, I ain't really want to trap no more. Like, y'all got to put me in a situation where I ain't got to risk my freedom. If y'all want me to take the music serious, y'all got to put me in a situation where I ain't got to trap. Like, cause when I leave here today, ain't nothing going to change my way. Like, my people still got to eat. I still got to bills to pay. Like, so, you know, everybody talked about it and, you know, we just made an agreement that this is what it was. So that was like definitely a life changer. Like, even when I got the call from Fly and they was like, Fish, um, we in LA tomorrow, Rock Nation, whatever. I was like, damn, we can't handle it over the phone. Like, <laughs> we can't just talk. Like, I got to go because I had a lot going on. So, he was like, no, man, the flight, 5.45 in the morning. He was like, man, you can't miss it. So I was like, all right, whatever. So my homeboy B Money was in the car with me. He was like, bitch, boy, they for real. Boy, I told you, boy, too many people been sharing your music, bro. It's for real. So I'm like, man, bro, I ain't, man, I, boy, I got to go be. I got to do this. I ain't going to be at no airport 5.45 in the morning. So he like, bitch, bro, you got to do it. You got to do it. Well, I'm like, here, you hold this and I'm gonna call you and you take care of that for me like all right but you know I'm handling that so I stayed up all night like I couldn't even sleep because I I knew if I would went to sleep I probably old slept and I was too nervous so I'm like damn so I'm talking to my girl like damn what you think gonna happen you think I need to go like because I didn't even know like they was gonna pay for the room or what I'm like damn man LA the room's probably high like I'm finna go ahead and blow a check for land like and is it a round trip ticket? Like, my mind was just going crazy because, like, I hadn't talked to nobody. And, like, you know, me and Fly had never met each other. It's like Fly a genius because Fly heard my music through a girl. Like, he saw me post the music, but he never listened until he saw this one chick. I guess she a bad chick, and she knew it word for word. So he had to tune in and, and dig deeper. So he went to listening and he was like, man, it was my no son. So that's when he took it to Dizzy. Dizzy took it to The Rock and they called Ace up. And when I got out there, it was definitely real. I met Mel Bleed, Jay, uh, uh, Armory, Emory. I met a lot of cats, like the whole, everybody Jay Z rock by, they write the. Like, that's like, that was big. Like, just his sister, like, I never really heard him right there. Like, everybody right there, family. Built our family, and I just show you, like, they, like, that's what you gotta get back to, the realness, like, like, that Jay-Z era, like, for them people to still be, like, stuck, like, glue, you feel me? Even milk bleed them, not dealing with the music or whatever, like, and we still here, still rock chains, it's like, it was deep, that was like, that was the problem, that definitely was the biggest day of my life, but no cap. When I met, when I shook Jay hand, Mr. Carter, I thought my hand was gonna fall off, I was like, what? Yeah, Jay, Jay real cool, real homie though, he a real leader, like, they, you know, I'm the first artist signed in that building in LA. And like, they was just building it. So he was illustrating. He was telling everybody like, yeah, I want that there. You want this here. And like the office closed at like five, maybe. When we leave to like 12, Jay was still there. They putting like the little squares in the ceiling and stuff. Yeah, like, it was crazy. 